Ah, these assholes again. Wonderful. You guys remember them? The ones who keep firing stabby projectiles through my chest? Ah, oh, this is a weird one. There's like a weird open room. Okay, here's patches. You look terrible. Cheer up. Life is an adventure. <laughs> Fucking hate you, patches. Ah, he's, now he's selling me the shit that I used on my souls. Yeah, he sells half and late moon grass. And sticky white stuff. And poison throwing throwing knives. Oh, he sells falchions too. I love your wares, but I hate you as a person. 5,000 souls for sticky white stuff? Jesus Christ. Doesn't cost that much in the real world. Hey, this guy's not a boss, he's just an asshole. Pretty sure, anyway. I j yeah, I just got here, didn't I? I don't think he's a boss, I think he's just rude. Phantom Simi Globex? I feel like that's a player name. Can I help you? Really? God fucking damn it, give me a second. Wow. Okay, I feel like maybe lag is ripping me apart because he's hitting me before I'm even fucking swinging. You see that? God damn it. What a prick job. Well, you can come find me, asshole. This is a player that I'm fighting now. A fucking giant dad in full armor with lag on his side. Yeah, go heal around the corner. Wait. How are you still alive? Yeah, see him healing. Um, AI doesn't run like a coward and heal in the corner. What are you doing? Oh, I don't care. Fucking kill the NPCs. I don't give a shit, man. You can hide behind them all you want, I don't fucking care. Stop it. You will anger the heavens. He's trying to get the other guy to kill me. I goddamn hate people. Fuck! Yeah. This is why I fucking hate PvP so much. Does he hear him? Fucking pointing and laughing at my corpse. There's a good reason I usually disconnect my consoles from the internet before playing any Souls games. What the fuck are you? Are you even- are you a ghost? Fuck off. Weird. I feel like they're gonna do tons of damage if they actually successfully hit me, and my hits are not doing any knockback. Which is usually pretty dangerous. Yeah, they do a fair chunk of damage. Alright. Let's dance. Holy shit, really? Right through my fucking shield, too. Alright. Surprise, asshole. I can be rude, too. Okay, I gotta take these guys out, because they're gonna make my life a living hell. In a quick second. See it? Ah, uh, god damn you! Guys with massive swords that I'm just gonna get killed by. Okay, that's as much as I wanted to find out, was what that bit of area looked like. Let's go back to Blight Town. Or whatever they used to call Blight Town before Dark Souls existed. Where the fuck am I? Am I standing in like... I guess this is water. Oh no, it's poison. Awesome. So I'm just standing in poison. Okay. 
What are you? This is no time for headbanging. What are you doing? Oh, I can't roll. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to fucking roll. And he just stands there and does a little metal headbang. I guess I might as well get this shit while I'm poisoned, because I'm not getting any more poisoned. What are these little lights? Because they're not items. Fuck off. Fuck off! Oh good, a massive dude to keep my head in. That's what I need right now. Yep. Well, at least I got the items um, that I would have. There's got to be a way to do that without wading through poison water for like six minutes. So, okay, there's a crossing thing there. This is where I fell. I don't see any other path. Like I'm supposed to like knock that board down so that I can cross it safely, but I don't see where I'm supposed to go. Ooh, well, okay. Let's follow the path and find out. Like, I don't think I can get up here. Unless he'll actually pull himself up. Yeah, you're a great headbanger. Yeah, no, I think it's it's pretty well walled off, which is kind of frustrating. Because, like, obviously, if you fall in the swamp, you want to get out as soon as possible. But there's, like, nowhere to do that. No, stop fucking headbanging, you idiot! Just move before you get poisoned again. Thank you. I'm just moving vaguely in one direction towards lights that I see. There was a time when I... Oh, god damn it! Of course. Of course. You would let yourself get poisoned again. Here's where I died last time. And that means there's a big motherfucker that's going to cave my head in right there. Still can't roll. <laughs> oh god damn it. There's a path here that you can take. So if you don't want to walk in the poison water. And it doesn't show you your poison meter like it does in Dark Souls 1 and 2. So you just have to like kind of naturally wait for it to degrade. You have to imagine a poison meter filling up slowly and then um, emptying out slowly. Don't care. Not even gonna fix it, cause it'll just fucking happen again. Like if anything, getting poisoned only allows me to more freely move through the poison water. Okay, and this is where this bullshit happens, so I'm just gonna use my arrows. Cause my bow and arrow is awesome. Stop moving. And I want to kill this asshole with arrows too. Uh, I immediately regret that decision. Alright, I'm angry enough to not do this area anymore. Like that same fucking guy, I tried killing him four different ways and I'm getting nowhere. And I don't want to keep doing it again and again, just grinding this area out until I finally kill him. Because it's pissing me off, and it's probably pissing you off too, so. Let's do something else. Okay, I haven't killed an Archdemon yet, which I think is one of the last bosses. So, like, the boss of 2-3 or 3-3. I guess there's no reason I can't try to take one of them on. Because I think, like, the third bonfire, I don't think it's an area. I think it's just a boss. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, so, yeah. 
uh, the third world isn't actually a world, it's just a boss, which is kind of cool. Now the question is, is this the area where the boss is controlled? Okay, it's not. And this is one of those, like, you have to run around and do shit, you can't just fight the boss, like you can't slash at him, you gotta do a bunch of shit first. Which you figure out pretty quick, generally. Holy shit. He's not fucking around. Yeah, I don't know how to not get hit by him, but... Or if that's even possible. I don't know, I hit, he didn't hit me there, but he pushed me into the background. Alright, dude, seriously, give me a fucking minute here. Uh, wait, this is a thing. How do I do this thing? Yeah, buddy. Yep, fuck you. So you do that a couple of times, and then he gets super pissed, and then you can hack his face to pieces. Okay, that's a lot of fire. See, this is why I wanted to invest in half moon grass. Why am I doing this fight at partial health? Jesus. Okay. Next time I do this fight, it's not going to be at partial health. Shield does fucking nothing at all. But full health means that when he hits me for 70% of my health, I don't die immediately. I'm not even gonna stop for my souls. Yep. How, I don't even know how to do this fight at 70% health. Because he's obviously fucking hitting me for it. Fuck! Should've just ran. Get it in ya. You're gonna need it in a second. Look at that, look at the numbers just firing down. Come on, dude. Fuck. Alright. Holy shit, how are you supposed to do this without excellent healing items? See his health? Suck a giant dick. Nice. Come on. Are you not dead yet? Okay. So, okay, so I think that was one of the arch demons. So that means I can actually go to area 1-3 now. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're good for tonight, and then we'll come back. I think a couple more of the Archdemons are unlocked. Um, if not, we'll definitely do that next time. And then rock on through, find the end of this game, fuck in eventually, and then move on to something better. <laughs> Alright, that's it for tonight. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. See you later.